In this video, I am going to explain fixed budget. So before we go for the problem, let me explain the basic concept of fixed budget. See, fixed budget means it is a budget which is designed to remain unchanged. That is a fixed in nature, irrespective of the level of activity actually attained. So this particular budget is prepared for a particular level of activity. If the actual level is different, the budget is not adjusted in future. This is a fixed in nature. This particular budget is prepared based on one assumption that is uh, the future is static uh, that is in case of concern where future conditions are likely to be static uh, only in such condition you can prepare fixed budget. Uh, so now let us go for the problem. See the problem. A firm has a contract to supply 10,000 units of its only product during 2016. The following were budgeted expenses and revenue. So these are the information related to fixed budget. First one is material, rupees 20 per unit. Wages, 10 rupees per unit. Work expense that is fixed in nature, 50,000. Work expense variable, rupees 5 per unit. General expense, the entire expense are fixed, that is 40,000. Profit is 20 percentage on sale price. Prepare the budget for 2016, showing the cost and profit. So with this information, they ask you to prepare budget for 2016, showing total cost and profit during the year. Let us see the solution. See the fixed budget format. This is a particular column. Here you need to write all the information related to fixed budget. And output is 10,000 units. This column for per unit and this one for total amount. See the problem. The first one is material. Rupees 20 per unit. It's a variable cost. So all variable cost combinedly called as prime cost. That is direct material, direct wages and direct expense combinedly called as prime cost. Okay, the first one is material cost. That is 20 rupees per unit. It's a variable cost. Okay, material. Material, how much? Rupees 20 per unit. Okay, how many number of units? 10,000 number of units they are going to produce. So each unit cost, material cost is 20 rupees. Now you need to find the amount. 10,000 into 20 rupees, 2 lakhs. Next one, wages. So wages also direct expense which is directly involving in production process. Rupees 10 per unit. Wages, 10 rupees per unit. How many number of units? 10,000 units they are going to produce. So 10 rupees into 10,000. Wages, 1 lakh rupees. So there will be no direct expense. Okay, all other things are work expense and general expense. Now we can find the prime cost. Prime cost per unit, 30 rupees. Prime cost total amount, 3 lakhs. So according to the cost sheet, you can able to find the different levels of cost. So the first one is prime cost. Prime cost means uh, which consists uh, direct material, direct labor and direct expense. So according to this problem, we have only two things, material and wages. So total prime cost is 30 rupees per unit and amount column is 3 lakhs. Add work expense. So work expense means work overheads. So overheads means all indirect expenses are called as overheads. So it will be added along with the prime cost. Work expense 50,000 that is fixed in nature. So fixed in nature means the fixed amount will be remain same whatever may be the output. This particular expense is fixed in nature. But here we are preparing fixed budget. No, we need not worry about the different levels of activity. Here you have to enter only the total cost which is incurred for the particular production process. So work expense fixed is 50,000. So here this transaction is given for rupees. So now we have to find out the per unit. 50,000 fixed. Now you need to find the cost per unit because amount total amount is given in the problem. So you can easily find cost per unit. So what is the formula? Total amount divided by number of units. 50,000 divided by 10,000, 5 rupees each. Okay, so work expense fixed per unit is 5 rupees, amount 50,000. 
work expense variable here per unit value is given now you need to find the total amount so work expense variable 5 rupees per unit so variable work expense variable per unit is given in the problem that is 5 rupees per unit now you have to find out the total amount 5 into 10,000 units 50,000 now this total is called work cost works overheads or work cost 30 plus 10 40 rupees per unit so work overheads is 40 rupees per unit 3 lakh plus 1 lakh 4 lakhs Okay, the next one is general expense. So, in this problem, the general expense 40,000. All the entire amounts are fixed. So, directly you can enter this amount in the total column. That is amount column. And you can easily find the cost per unit by dividing the number of units. So, general expense 40,000. Add general expense 40,000. Now you can find the cost per unit. 40,000 divided by 10,000. 4. We have entered material cost, wages, work expense both fixed and variable and we have entered general expense. Now you need to find the total cost by adding all the expenses. 44 rupees per unit total cost. In amount 4,40,000. Thousand. See, now you need to find the profit. That is, profit is 20 percentage on sales. That is generally selling price which consists of profit also. Selling price is equal to, selling price is equal to cost plus profit. So, generally selling price will consider as 100. For example, if cost is 80 means profit will be 20. If cost is 70 means profit will be 30. So, selling price always consider as a 100 percentage. So, now you have to find out the profit. We have got cost. Now, you need to find the profit. Here, profit is given. That is profit is 20 percentage on selling price. That is sale price. Here, we have given 20 percentage on selling price. But we didn't have selling price per unit. We have calculated only the total cost. Now you need to find the profit on cost of sales. So from the cost of sales you need to find the profit. But here we have got 20% on selling price. But here we didn't get the selling price. So 20% on sales is equal to 25% on cost. Let me explain this. So, 20% on sales is equal to 25% on cost. So, here we have got cost price. From cost or on cost, we can able to find the profit. After adding the profit along with the cost, we will be getting selling price. That is sales value. Now, you need to find the profit. Here, profit is 20% on selling price. But you need to find profit on cost price. So, 20 on sales is equal to 25 on cost. Let me explain this with the problem. Add profit. Let the selling price be 100. Okay. So, 20 percent is profit is 20 percentage on selling price. So, uh, selling price is 100, profit is 20. Then what about cost? Cost will be 80 percentage. I told you no. Selling price is equal to cost plus profit. Profit is 20 which is given in the problem. Okay, selling price is always 100. Then cost will be 80 percentage. Here they have given 20 percentage on selling price. No, percentage of profit on cost. Because we have calculated total cost. We didn't calculate the selling price. So now we need to find the percentage of profit on cost. Okay. So the cost is 80. No. So from 80 you need to find 20 percentage. So 20 divided by 80 into 100 is equal to 25 percentage. So 20 percentage on sales is equal to 25 percentage on cost. 
according to this problem the profit is given that is 20 percentage on selling price but now we have calculated only the total cost so total cost we have calculated with this we need to find the profit but here profit is given 20 percentage on selling price so now you need to find percentage of profit on cost the formula is 20 divided by 80 that is a 100 minus 20 is equal to 80 no so 20 percentage divided by 80 into 100 is 25 percentage so 20 on sales is equal to 25 on cost profit 4 lakh 40 into 25 percentage one lakh ten thousand one lakh ten thousand now you need to find the profit per unit that is one lakh ten thousand divided by ten thousand units eleven rupees now this total selling price is sales fifty five per unit five lakh fifty thousand total selling price total sales amount is five lakh fifty that is total cost plus profit is equal to total sales in the same way total cost of production per unit plus profit per unit is equal to selling price per unit so selling price per unit is 55 rupees total sales amount is 5 lakh 50 thousand so this is the way to prepare the fixed budget hope you all understand this concept thank you